think somebody over there at the butcher shop may have uh, forgot what they're doing here. Now the package said four pork chops, boneless. Okay, this is like a great lesson to learn. These two are boneless pork loin or pork chops. These two, I'm not too sure what they are, but they didn't come from the same cut here. These almost look like ribs, which is close to the pork chop, so it's all good. But I'll put a little bit of seasoning on them. My homemade seasoned salt. I believe the recipe is somewhere online. If I find it, I'll put it in my description down below. And it's a good thing to have on on your shelves. I see a lot of people buy salt, pepper, and garlic. Do you know how much money you're wasting? You can buy garlic in a container, salt in a container, and your black pepper, if, if that's what you choose. Um, and then you just make your own. It's so much more economical. So anyways, here's my pork chops. I'm gonna let them sit over there for a little bit. I contaminate stuff. Look at that, you can see all four of my burners. So cool. This guy right here had some uh, beef fat put in it. Beef tallow. Tallow in there. I'm cooking mushrooms. But I'm also going to put beef tallow in to cook the uh, pork chops in. Beef tallow, I would have never guessed. I've been enjoying it so much. So, the other day, we went to Costco to get some stuff, and I so I'm not set up to wash dishes by hand. Okay. Oh, that's a nice cutting board. Wow. Anywho, got this. In here with some of my seasoning. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but lately when you buy mushrooms, there's not a lot of water in them. It's like they're very dry. I don't know what the reason is behind that. I'm gonna put them back there. A little. These are the best things to have for splatter cards. Okay. Oh, I can do my little dance. I really don't. I want to run this side.
I can go to six pounds. We'll see what happens. Take it a little bit. Now, it could be that I didn't let the paint get hot enough to cook the paint out. I'm going to cook the potatoes. They're cooked up pretty good. And then I'm going to take them out of here. I'm going to put the beef and pork chops in here. We're going to have pork chops. to you the flavor of what beef tallow tastes like on a potato. You just have to take my word. If you have the opportunity to buy some in a store somewhere, grass-fed beef tallow, I would do it. I would highly recommend doing it. If not, learn how to do it yourself. I got a video out there. Oh, that's hot too. Mmm. Yukon Gold. So good. Oh, I didn't season these guys. dinner that I made with the fried potatoes and the beef tallow and I like the, the pork looked like it. it was supposed to be pork loin pork chop but two of them look like beef or pork ribs so we're eating those mm. tasty tastes like pork so Beef tallow is full of different vitamins and nutrients that our bodies need that bad scientists 
back in the day tried to get us to stop using it. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Anyways. Pork cooked with beef tallow. Tastes like pork. Enjoy.